All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol XPEV, XPing Inc. And before we go ahead and jump into this chart, I want to go ahead and say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel and best for tomorrow to all my subscribers. Welcome back. And we're going to jump into this chart. So we still want to keep in mind the support level 25, 26 down here. Because if it gets touched in the future, at least we know that that's one of the supports that's going to let us know that this is going to go to newer lows and new support levels. Yesterday, I had mentioned in the video when this run started was pretty obvious that it started the same way as NEO. And we're going to jump onto that right now. So I want you guys to see here, this is the 30th and the 29th was the beginning of the catalyst. And if we zoom out, you can see that's when it started to turn around and get very steep in the slope upwards. And you can see that for NEO as well. So when we jump back over here from the 28th, about to hit the 29th, you zoom out. And on the 29th, it all started to run up the same. And the last one was Lee Auto. When you look at Lee Auto, you can see that it did the same thing from the 28th. Now it's the 29th. And it did the steep run up and something i'm noticing as well is that they're dipping the same way so you can see it slightly dipped and leveled off slightly dipped and leveled off slightly dipped and leveled off so yesterday i had stated that the bulls if they were to lose some control this would probably do this steep leveling off right like it would actually slightly fall and then level off and we could see the staircase effect forming and this staircase would jump down and from here the bulls have to bounce back up to hit newer highs and new resistance levels and you can already see this is changing in direction already it's starting to go up you can see that the bulls are trying to reappear the question is could the bulls go ahead and pull further away from here the week is ending and we're gonna have to pay close attention as the week starts next week if that actually is going to be the case because the 50 day moving average is catching up and the bulls here are slightly losing control and the bears reappeared. I also stated that this support indirectly was not the support level, but it is a point where you can see it leveled off and you can see closely that it almost touched it, but the bulls were able to stop this. The bears tried bringing it down again and the bulls stopped it and leveled this off slightly above that. But you can see how this point of reference I personally would pay close attention to it as I stated. You didn't have to use it as a point of reference, but I highly recommended using it to pay close attention to what's going on. And here we are now. We're going to be able to narrow down everything and look at this closely. But right now, the bulls are still in control. We're above the 50 day moving average and so forth. But this could change trajectory fairly quickly if the bears decide to gain control and start to bring this into bearish territory because the leverage is very close for them to start gaining it. So the tug of war on Monday is going to be interesting. So we're going to look at this in a narrow stretch. One of the lowest points as this was leveling off before this bullish slight pickup. And we're going to look at the highest point before it continued to fall and level off to the point where we're at now in the last couple of hours of the day. So the lowest point reached in the day, which is important as well, is 33.17. Now, 33.17 is below the 50 day moving average. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. It's already below the 50 day moving average, which is 33.73. If you guys want to write that down, super important number. It lets us know on what side of the chart we're in, if we're in bullish territory or if we're in bearish territory. So if that gets broken through, the next support would be down here at 33.17. And that's the first support in bearish territory pulling further away from the 50 day moving average. But the one that we're about to look at is right there. So it's a tug of war to know if the bears have gained control. And that's why the 33.17 is important, but we won't look at that until we get closer to it. So the tug of war, if this support was to get broken through, would be important to pay close attention to the bears and to the bulls and see who is dominating. 
And then we're going to look at this resistance level up here that's important for the bulls to actually break through, to break away from the 50-day moving average and continue this momentum to stay in bullish territory. At the end of this video, there's going to be a trivia question. So stay tuned. I'm going to ask it so that you guys can go ahead and memorize that. And if anybody missed it, you guys can comment it down below and they'll be able to pay close attention to that, okay? So I wanted to announce that as well. So stay tuned till the end of the video. We're going to look now at our resistance and new supports for Monday. So the highest point that the bulls were able to reach without this crazy volatility just run up was way up here at this point. And that was our previous resistance level. So we're going to look at that real quick. That was 39.25. This is probably one of the most important numbers for the bulls to reach new highs and pull much further away from the 50 day moving average getting deeper into bullish territory but before getting there the bulls have to break through the first resistance level and that is 3736 they need to break through 3736 turn that into a support and break away from it to reach newer highs new resistance levels and pull further away from the 50 day moving average so this is significant for the bulls they need to break through 3736 i want to emphasize that again they need to to stay above the 50-day moving average because if not it could catch up at some point or some way the bears will use that as leverage to tear this down and bring it into bearish territory so the bulls need to break through 3736 and turn that into a support to break away from it now on the other hand we have what the bears want the bears want to break through support this support level is 3348 and if it is broken through the bears have accomplished getting into bearish territory by breaking through the 50 day moving average and they're breaking through the first support level that is slightly below the 50 day moving average at 3348 and they're going to try to pull this further away now this is a very interesting support level because it's super close to the 50 day moving average but yet it's in bearish territory so the bulls can try to reappear and bring this up so there could be a tug of war or the bears can just dominate this and tear this down to newer lows new support levels and pull this further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction i want you guys to still keep in mind again for the coming days and weeks 25 26 because there will be a lot of volatility or tug of war up or down but if this was to go in a downward direction, this is one of the most important support levels to keep in mind because if it gets broken through, this will be on its way to newer lows and new support levels. So I just wanted to emphasize that and remind you guys on that. But right now, the most important one is up here at 33.48. Pay close attention to how this stock is behaving and how quickly is it pulling away from the 50-day moving average or are the bulls trying to reappear to bring this back up and get back into bullish territory? As always, I hope you guys find this video helpful and informative. And if you do, please do so and subscribe if you feel encouraged or inclined to. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watch this video. So, trivia question. What is the most important point for the bulls to break through in this chart, right? Other than this resistance level, what is the most important point and why is it important? I want to see your guys' uh, answers down below. I look forward to seeing you guys answer. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.